Hello dear YouTube family and welcome back to Liftoff. As usual, we always keep you updated with everything space and everything SpaceX. China is sending more signals that it will move aggressively toward building its own satellite network in space to realize applications such as Starlink, a satellite internet constellation being constructed by Elon Musk and SpaceX. So what is China's plan to beat SpaceX and could China be a great competitor that would defeat Musk's company? Let's find out in today's episode. Before we move on with the video, subscribe, like and share and let's get started. If you are unfamiliar with the topic due to being here for the first time, Starlink is a plan by SpaceX to put 12,000 satellites into low Earth orbit that offer high speed, low latency, cheap internet access to anyone anywhere on the planet. That's the end game. All you would need to use Starlink is a $200 pizza box sized receiver. Each satellite will talk to four others using lasers as they constantly orbit Earth, together creating a web of Ku band and Ka band broadband connectivity as fast as the speed of light that surrounds the planet at all times and for all locations. In order to beam connectivity to the surface, a massive network of ground-based stations will also be necessary. So, although 12,000 satellites sound like a lot, it's only a fraction of the infrastructure that SpaceX will have to construct. Starlink will happen in phases, but the ultimate goal is to have about 8,000 satellites orbiting just above 500 kilometers of the planet, and the remaining 4,000 orbiting much higher up, at around 1,200 kilometers. After SpaceX launched 60 of its own Starlink broadband satellites on a Falcon 9 rocket in January, becoming the operator of the world's largest commercial satellite constellation, China has ramped up its plans to launch more satellites to compete with its arch-rival, the US. On March 7th, Bao Weiman, member of the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference and director of the Science and Technology Committee of the Aerospace Science and Technology Group, said in an interview with Chinese media, China is planning and developing space internet satellites and has launched test satellites. We will also establish a national satellite network company to be responsible for coordinating and planning the operation of space satellite internet network construction. In 2020, satellite internet was included in the scope of China's new infrastructure policy initiative, ushering the sector into a stage of explosive growth going forward. Of course, satellite internet in space provides more applications beyond providing internet access to people in remote areas like SpaceX's Starlink. In its narrow definition, satellite internet is a high-speed communication network in space, using multiple satellites to form broadband communication network coverage. The service is more suitable for countries and regions with large areas and sparsely populated areas to solve the communication needs for areas without telecommunication base stations. In its broad definition, satellite internet provides satellite network solutions based on communications, navigation and remote sensing technologies to empower various industries. Among them, with satellite as an infrastructure, they are equivalent to mobile towers in space. In the future, they can carry various loads and sensors and form a network to form a distributed computing platform in space. Combining with 5G, the industrial internet and the internet of things, it can spawn a wealth of application scenarios. Equipped with 5G payloads, it can meet broadband communications, equipped with cameras, it can even achieve remote sensing with navigation enhancements. It can support autonomous driving as well. Assuming that the investment in infrastructure, such as satellite development, launch and ground facilities, is worth around 100 billion yuan in China, the revenue of midstream constellation operators will reach 200 billion yuan. And the market size of ground terminals and industrial applications based on satellite internet may reach 700 billion yuan, says Ji Tao, founder of Beijing Comsat Technology Development Company Limited. He predicts that 100,000 satellites might be deployed in low Earth orbit in the future. Among them, there may be up to 50,000 to 60,000 satellites from the United States, 30,000 to 40,000 from China, and 10,000 to 20,000 from the United Kingdom, India, Russia, and other countries. 
SpaceX alone has launched more than 1,000 satellites in a year and a half. If the scale of 30,000 to 40,000 satellites is to be realized, thousands of satellites need to be deployed every year in the next few years. However, the current domestic production capacity of microsatellites is less than 100 per year, so there is at least a 90% gap in supply, says Xi. These 100,000 satellites were predicted mainly based on them being satellite internet in its narrow definition, that is, broadband communications in the early stage. In the later period, it may evolve to the satellite internet in a broad sense, including the integrated satellite application network of communication, navigation such as construction machinery, oil pipeline monitoring, or container monitoring. In addition, the demand for all-weather, all-time terrestrial resource monitoring and disaster warning has increased significantly, and the market space cannot be underestimated. Beijing Comsat Technology is positioned as a service provider for the entire industry chain of low-orbit small satellites. Based on the narrowly defined satellite internet, it may provide one-step services for basic operators, from constellation design and demonstration to satellite development and batch production, to satellite terminal research and development and operating model consulting. The company has served industry customers in environmental protection, land and resources smart agriculture, transportation and logistics, smart governance, scientific research and education. The company's satellite factory in Tangshan has completed the main construction of the first phase of the production plant and is expected to enter a trial operation stage of production equipment at the end of June this year. It is understood that after the completion of this satellite factory, it will realize short period low cost and flexible mass production of 50 to 700 kilogram class satellites. Beijing Comsat Technology was founded in 2015. In February and December 2018, it successfully launched the Junior Star 1 and 7 Ladybug series satellites respectively, completed the system level verification of the satellite Internet of Things. At the beginning of 2021, it received a billion yuan level strategy investment from the China Internet Investment Fund. This is the seventh round of financing it has completed. SpaceX has revealed that it has no plans to bring the Starlink satellite service to China, as per a report from Gizmo China based upon inputs from a Tesla China spokesperson. Currently, SpaceX has around 1,500 of Starlink Internet satellites orbiting Earth, with their numbers only set to increase. Google had teamed up with SpaceX to provide cloud services. With the help of this partnership, SpaceX can set up ground stations inside the data centers of Google, connected to the Starlink satellites, to provide internet access on Earth. So, what do you think as far as Starlink is concerned? Will China beat SpaceX? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like the video and want to see more interesting videos, then subscribe to Liftoff and turn on the notifications feature. Thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you in the next one.